All right, everyone, I hope this works. This is the first heavy hitters case for my Patreon Kuba. And I really do hope we will find something good. I do have the feeling that there will be something good because the last two cases, which I opened for myself, which were case number five and six, um, those were not too good at all. So we could have something right here. Also, I think I'm just going to release those in the order that I opened them. So this is not live. I'm going to just upload this as case number seven and Kuba will get all the hits in here. So like, I'll just keep the bulk because the commons, the common foils, the rares, and I think the rare foils. And then everything from Majestic up just goes straight to Ireland. Oh, not straight there. The way we do this is the patrons can collect whatever they want from all these openings and everything we do in between. And um, yeah, well, let's see. Let's see what we have. Yes, it is heavy hitters. You might uh, know this card, but it's heavy hitters. I'm gonna put all the foils on top like I always do. I'm gonna put these tokens away. I hope this works and um, yeah, here we go. So after getting two Kasai adult marvels, he was like, oh, this was stupid good. And I think there will be nothing in here. I, on the other hand, think there will be something in here. And anyways, we'll have four cases for Kuba. And we start with a standing order. So who knows? This might be the best one in the whole set. The best Majestic, I mean. Until now, I think we have like six or seven real good hits. Majestics. I mean, I've talked about this in the past videos for every case opening. Ancestral Harmony should be cool as well. Let's just find out what the prices do within the next two weeks. And then we'll finally see which ones of those are the real bangers. So with those expansion slot cards, Ancestral Harmony, Ninja, there was something released, which is fire. That's good. And then we'll have to find something else. Sand packing. This shouldn't be too shitty as well. I've just had a real short, uh, a short uh, oh, talk about which ones are good and which are not. I think that's cool. I think this one is good. So cold foil is vigor girth. There is supposed to be, or on average, there is one cold foil per box or per 24 packs to be precise. Then that should be it for this box, but it's just an average. I've had several boxes with two cold foils common or rare or the marvel i did not oh here's a reckless charge and this time in foil see this kuba good good job so good a third good card like as i heard um yeah so i hope you can use this and you want to pray brute that's what i heard as well um hold on let me think oh yeah i did not have a majestic cold fall yet and this is case number seven so i know you have one it's either you got exceptionally lucky or i got exceptionally you know bad luck oh nasty surprise oh, we just keep hitting the good cards right here right now right we just have to talk about this and then that works. Uh, 
Right. There is four more packs in this box. We didn't have a legendary, we didn't have a Marvel, but the Majestics were cool. Also, Fall Majestic was good. So that's nice to see. But of course, I would like you to have a real good hit. Um, we all want to see the hot, the hot spice. Last pack. Nothing. Oh yeah, there is a Majestic to solve reality. I'm gonna put these commons away. I really do believe nobody needs those. Also I have so many thousands of those. It's just, I don't know where to put all these. The rares, I think the rares stay here, right? If not, just tell me. I, I am, where do I put these? It's just, I have, these are the four ones. Oh yeah, here. Good, so box number two out of 16. Right now I'm just going to record this one and then I'm going to do a break. Doesn't matter for the viewers because I'm going to upload one video a, a day or so. Or like every second day. I don't know. I can get creative with this. Uh, what I have decided is I am going to start with the expected value videos on Saturday because I think on release day, today, on Friday, it doesn't make too much sense to write down these prices because it's just there's going to be so many cards where the sellers are just having putting up fantasy prices way too high it has to level out for at least one day and then i'm gonna start and then we're gonna here is another call for sorry it's the common but we're getting to the good stuff i really believe so also this set again should be about the Majestics and this one which looks almost like a cold foil is Judge Jury Executioner. Oops, sorry, where's the camera here? So yeah, Majestic Foil. There you go. Good stuff. I didn't have this before. I didn't I didn't get this in foil. So it took seven cases for that. We have 40 Majestics, whereas there is three of those in cold foil and then there should be i think every other one should be in rainbow foil so 37 here's a majestic i think there should be 37 so if we have like two per box oh boy and if we want to play set of those i don't know yet i didn't count i didn't count the majestic foils but we can find that out later on afterwards I'm gonna count everything together. Here's a Betsy. Congratulations to that. Hold on. I got a message from Kuba, so we can do this, I guess. Judge, jury, and executioner. That's the one he wants. Good stuff. Here is a Majestic Foil Trounce. It's a Guardian Block. Sometimes you can tell by the art, to be honest, if that card is going to be asked or not. Also, what do you all think about these half-sized tokens? Is it cool? Is it not cool? Here, there, there's, there's two of those. Primed to fight, also not the worst, I've heard. So that's here, it's a rare foil. Here, that's what I meant. These are the perforated. There's this line in the middle where you can just separate those two, right? Like, oh, like so. And then you'll have two of the half size. Good, good, good. On we go. Let's uh, let's let's get something even better for Kuba. I think the I, mean, I think the foil judge and the foil reckless. Well, that is judge jury. Which one do you wanted? You wanted to have the. I mean, you get them all, but for your deck, yeah. Good, 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 good. We'll keep on searching for the good stuff. 
Also, as you all know, probably, I've already gotten two Kasai adult marvels. So if we find a Kayo marvel, we're just gonna trade those. It's a trading card game and this is awesome. I don't care if Kasai is the most expensive one. Um, that way I'll have, I'll already have two of those adult heroes. So I would totally be up for that. I don't know about anybody else, let's be honest, my, my patrons are like small family. We're a club, we're a club where only members get in and if you're in, we are, we are taking care of each other. So he wants all Brood Majestics in foil, um, let's see if we can get more. Generic Majestics in Rainbow Fall, of course. Everybody wants those. Here's a real... In oh, this was wrong again. The tokens belong out of here. So. Real in. Let I think I haven't seen that before. Not even in non-foil. Oh. Not really in. This is my first, let's be honest. Wow. So, today, I mean, I'm repeating myself, but it doesn't matter. Today I've heard that Dusk Till Dawn is not available at distribution. Dynasty is not available at distribution. Reckless Charge, non foil. Even Monarch Unlimited is not available anymore. I mean, this is out of print, officially, right? But, yeah. Those are gone. Okay, so, some good Majestics. Not the real good big cards that uh, Kuba wants, but we can force it. This was just two, two boxes. Um, on average, we are supposed to get one Rainbow Fall Legendary. And then 0 0.5 marvels. So every second case. So if we get something right now, that would be cool. Also, I didn't get a common. I didn't get a cold foil majestic yet. This is totally possible. It's strange to have a set where there is no extended arts as the alternates. Um, yeah, well. Seduce Secrets, non foil. And a bunch of small tokens. Kasai Adult. So, uh, talking about small tokens, so what they did with Sorcery, Sorcery Alpha. Oh, check this out. This and that. All right, Kuba, now here we go. Up the ante, which is one of two blue foil pitch stripes. This looks totally awesome. Maybe it's an arrow, maybe it's an Easter egg. I don't know, it looks super, it looks super nice. Super nice, like the more I look at it, the better it looks. And then, congratulations already. We have the Gauntlets of Iron Will. This card is damaged on the bottom left. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, there you can see it. Yeah, there you can see it clearly. This is not a cutting error. This happens when people get the whole, the whole staple and then just go over it with a tool. But yeah, we're taking it. We can't change that. At least we have a legendary now. There you go. I'm going to put it here. And we still have almost two full boxes left. So Kuba says he thinks the world is telling him to play Guardian because that's his third. And up the ante, I mean. Those pink oh no, uh, did I say pink strip? No, the blue stripes. 
Those are awesome. They should have more of those. Maybe that's maybe that's instead of here another prime to fight. Maybe instead of extended arts or alternative arts. They now have these two cards with those stripes. And maybe they'll do more in the future. I don't know. It's just... How can you go wrong with that? When all the other cards are not foiled on the top. I... I don't know. I don't know if we will ever find out if this was on purpose or not. Didn't James White say something like this in the interview? I forgot. I'm sorry. Right, so happy to do this for uh, my Patreon Kuba. So today when we get up, I can list all these cards that I pulled for myself. I can count all the cards that we pulled in total so that we have pull rates and can confirm what's on the homepage. And then also have the first little statistics about cold foils because, yeah, again, we don't know for each cold foil category itself how, how many of those we should have it's just one in 24 packs is a cold foil that's all right so one per box on average but we don't know how many of those 17 commons nine rares three majestics five legendaries uh, another majestic how many of those have which odds of pulling so i don't know we don't know we shall see all right kuba what's next i mean we've gotten the legendary so we didn't fail there we've gotten some nice majestics foil and non-foil i'm happy about that do you already want the marvel or do you wait for the next case Here is another up the on to so well you can have several decks with this card i mean ideally i'd like more than one marvel out of four cases oh yeah yeah sure so i've heard some some stories from pre-releases people pulling more legendaries than marvels is normal but the other way around more marvels than legendaries Yes, we've seen that on several different pre-release locations. It was odd to see. Here's another cold foil. That's that for this case, on average. So how many do we have? Let me check. One, two, three. Yeah, three and three boxes. And now I'll put the common pile away. Okay, let's go, Kuba. I think this was good. Maybe even good enough with those majestics. I mean, we started we started with a standing order, right? And I, I think, like after all, I've heard that's the warmongers. Well, rumors, rumors, rumors. The con market prices today and then tomorrow will confirm. And then I don't know. I am not. I'm not selling those for five bucks like I did in the past. The ones that are already in the talkings. I'm just not gonna dump those because I need some bucks to pay my bills. It's just I'm gonna wait. So pay up. Whew. Uh, rare foil. Common foil. Oh, here. That's the expansion slot, man. I'm going through the tokens afterwards because there might just be some misses in there. Right. Hey, check this out. Check this out. This is a rainbow foil. Show no mercy. I really believe group players want this card. And um, yeah, there you have it. Still got a bunch of packs. Should have another cold foil coming up. 
And especially in fall, I mean, you can't get baby any better than that, right? I mean, it's it's. Uh, are those three majestic cold foils? Are those all like from classes from like expansion slot cards? No, they are not because, for instance, Graven Call. Oh, it's an assassin weapon. Yes, that's an assassin weapon. And then we have Luminaris, and then the third one should be none of those arena classes as well, right? I'm not looking it up. I just want to want to go through these cards right here and I want you to be bored so I'm gonna check that later the third card foil which one is it which one is it uh, I don't know it's it's too I forgot so can somebody please rent me lend me his uh, card sorting machine I've seen a lot, a lot about these Rokas and then now other companies having machines that go four times the speed. I don't mind because I'm not paying 80,000 for one of those. I'm gonna do this manually just like I do all these braces. Raise an army, that should be like mid tier, right? boy oh boy this set it, it, it feels good it feels good it's just um okay you armed and dangerous curious to see if those heroes will be above one euro the gauntlets of iron will in rainbow for damaged well by damaged I, I would say this is excellent in european condition terms you know there was this one time when tcg player in the us released their conditioning guide like 17 pages going through every detail which you could have if you were grading cards let's call it grading or checking for conditions here reckless charge non-foil looking good Ooh. So, some good brute stuff. We have three more packs for this case. Feels like this has been... Like, pull rates have been on average. It's just this legendary rainbow foil. Just like the last two cases. It is... It is... It is... Str oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, this was off camera. I'm sorry. This is a cold for a legendary. There you go, Kuba. There you go. Ha! Huh. Second to last pack. And this card, except for the normal bottom ding right here, looks super nice. So you got one rainbow foil and one cold foil, which is pretty good for heavy hitters, I would say. So that one looks better than the other one nice good stuff so and the last pack huh. so i hope you feel better now after the first case that was not a fail at all i mean i mean reckless up primed reckless real primed nasty ancestral standing Woo. And then, uh, hold on, show no mercy, up the end, uh, judge, jury, reckless charge. Yeah, super nice, super nice majestic foils. All right, let me put those comments away. Or uh, I'm gonna end the video right here, right now. I'm gonna go for a short break. And I'm gonna be back with the next video in like a day or two. I don't know, thanks for watching, bye.